Hi and welcome back to the countertop and today I'm doing Prado de Meringues from Where Cook Begins. <laughs> Hi and welcome back. And the recipe I'm doing today is from this book, Where Cook Begins by Carla Lali Music. She's the food director of the Bon Appetit magazine and all the Bon Appetit empire and all the websites they have. And because of that, I think the book is so well written because it's so step by step. The step by steps are super easy for you to follow. And also the way she explains all the techniques in one specific chapter before jumping into the recipe. So you learn a lot before jumping into the recipes. Uh, also on all the recipes, she put lists of things that you can switch it over because for example, you don't have almonds at home and you want to do something specific, you can change that or you don't have a specific season or you don't have a specific cut of meat. You can always change that and make some trades to make sure that you can do a recipe. So it's a very, very nice way to put this in place. Talking a little bit about the recipe today is a praline meringue. So basically it's a very simple meringue. The only thing that is different is the praline, but overall the recipe is very nice. The way it teaches you to make a meringue in a way that is almost like a foolproof. Okay, so now let's go for the ingredients. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe. So for the praline, you're gonna need one cup of raw almonds, half cup of granulated sugar, and one teaspoon of sea salt. And for the meringues, you're gonna need three large egg whites, one and a half cup of powdered sugar, half teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now you get a small baking sheet and grease this very lightly. We're going to use the baking sheet to cool down our praline. And in a medium saucepan, you combine the almonds, the sugar, and also three tablespoons of water. And you put the saucepan over medium heat and stirring until you start to see the sugars to dissolve and start bubbling. After that, the syrup will dry out and become very sandy. Don't get scared, this is all part of the plan. Just keep stirring for more 3 minutes. And finally, when you think everything is lost, the sugar will start to liquefy again and coat all your almonds. Cook for more 2 minutes until your almonds are very shiny and as Carla said, in a deep glorious mahogany color. Now you just transfer your almonds to a baking sheet, it's spread out and try to cover evenly with the flaky sea salt. Let the praline to cool down and transfer to a food processor and pulse until they are finally chopped. Measure 3 quarters of a cup of the praline to use on the recipe and save the rest for another use. I personally use my leftovers on strawberries and ice cream and honestly, it's awesome. Now with the praline ready, let's start the meringue. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius and put a silicone mat or a parchment paper into a half baking sheet. Now get a heatproof bowl and put the egg whites, the sugar and the salt. Place the bowl over a pot with simmering water and whisk until the mixture reaches 50 degrees Celsius or honestly, just to be easier, 2 minutes should be fine. Transfer the mixture to your stand mixer bowl and beat with the whisk attachment on high speed until you have stiff peaks, something around 5 minutes. They should be thick and elastic. Add the vanilla extract and beat again, but now just for 1 minute. Remove the bowl and now you sprinkle the reserved praline over it and fold very gently. Don't overfold, try to make an evenly mix of the praline. Using two spoons, transfer the meringue to the baking sheet and get a little bit of praline to sprinkle over the top. Now finally place the meringues in the oven, leaving one inch or two inch of the door open. In my case, I use a roller kitchen tower to make that. And you're gonna bake these until puff and crack on the outer edge and kind of feel dry on the touch. And these will take something around 15 to 20 minutes. Now let's the meringue to cool down on the sheet before removing and of course, eating. And here is it. After it cooled down, mine at least buffed down a little bit, but they still taste amazing and very fluffy. And the praline makes the recipe for me way better with these salted bits of caramel inside the meringue. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave your comments what you like and what you don't like. See you next week. Bye.